Reynolds Coliseum was calling his name. Jimmy V, Jimmy V. The team that taught America to dream had come together again. And Coach Jim Valvano brought a warm greeting for each player. He bowed for Derek Wittenberg. He climbed on a chair to hug Thurl Bailey. NC State fans came to salute these champions. The spirit of 83 still lives around West Raleigh, especially in the coach. We had about 45 million people that day in this building, and I've met them all. But I was able to at any time, any time during my 10 years, I could do this. I could go na 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 that's power. That's power. Nobody had more fun than I did in the 10 years that I was fortunate enough to be able to stand in that corner right before every game and thank God for the opportunity to coach at North Carolina State University. Why eyes? There aren't many. Valvano's former players say they're no longer amazed by their coach's oratory, even as he battles cancer. He, he's just electric. Uh, he got great charisma. And That's the God-given talent that he has to be able to communicate with people and touch people at the same time. When V's ready for the lights and he and, and he's going to step out, he's going to he's going to inspire us all. He's not going to give up. Those just aren't words that he that he used uh, talking out there. These things he believes in, and he's embodied every day of his life. Continues to do that. Ten years after State's last banner, Jim Valvano predicts more championships at NC State. And I promise you, I will never give up my fight, and I'm going to be here to see those things happen to my friends. Where were you, and what were you doing just ten years ago? It was 1983, and the Wolfpack was the best in the land. NCAA champs. Has it really been ten years? On this Sunday in February, 10 years later, Reynolds Coliseum was packed to the rafters with people remembering and honoring that championship season. The championship team had the crowd standing, cheering, and recalling that nothing came easy for the team known as the Cardiac Pack. Beating the odds was their trademark. While savoring the moments of 1983, there was another very special moment that everyone here came for. I'm part of this ceremony not because I had anything to do with the 1983 championship team. I'm part of this ceremony because of the great respect and appreciation I have for this man. I proudly represent the feelings of the coaches at NC State, all of his friends, all of you Wolfpack fans, and countless others across this country. I represent the feelings of appreciation and pride that we all share in Jim Valvano. We know the many lives have been affected in a positive way by Jim. The lives that are better because Jim Valvano has touched them. I know that because I'm one of them. The help and support that he has given our football program and for me personally, I will always appreciate. And it means a great deal to me to count him as my friend. So today, we raise you up in triumph again to just simply and sincerely say thank you and we love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Balboa. Any time during my 10 years, I could do this. I could go na 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 That's power. That's power. See ya.
I miss that. I miss that now when I'm in airports and I go, na 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 na, and they take me away and they put me in a room. I miss that. And thank God for the opportunity to coach at North Carolina State University. Let me, let me tell you what the 83 team means to me. They're special, not because they put that banner up there. They're special because they taught me and the world so many important lessons. Number one, hope. The 83 team taught me about dreaming. And that team taught me the persistence the idea of never, ever quitting. Don't ever give up. Don't ever stop fighting. And lastly, what they taught me, which is so important, is to love each other. And we don't talk enough about that in sports. And today, I, f I fight a different battle. Cancer has taken away a lot of my physical abilities. What cancer cannot touch is my mind, my heart, and my soul. It can't touch those three things. And I miss all of you people who write and care and say in such a special way, Jimmy V, don't give up. I want you all to know from one coach to another, that Les Robinson is going to hang his own banners up here in a couple of years. Coach B did for this crowd what he did for the Wolfpack team in 1983. Fired them up, inspired them. For the 83 team and fans and Coach V, it was an emotional reunion. A kind of emotion that's rare in sports like when Lou Gehrig retired, or when Carl Yastrzemski took his triumphant trot around Fenway Park when he announced his last season, which, for the record, was also 1983. And Coach Jim Balvano, everybody knows he's always been a fighter. He still is. We hope he left Reynolds Coliseum with the feeling that we're all fighting with him on his side.